I'm Alyssa, an intern here at Campus Pride, and I'm here to give you a step-by-step -step on how to be a good mentor on Career Connect. So firstly, I think it's important that we go over what defines a mentor. As a mentor on Career Connect, you'll be helping LGBTQ plus young adults develop job prep and career readiness skills, as well as staying in touch with them to serve as an ongoing career guide. The time commitment for an effective mentor can be one to two hours a month. So, how do you use Career Connect to be a successful mentor? So the first step really is introducing yourself. Send a message over to a potential mentee with your name and your pronouns and ask theirs. And of course, always respect your mentee's pronouns going forward. From here, your mentee might tell you what they're interested in career-wise, but you can also ask them things that are not career-based, like their interests or skills. You can ask them about shared identities, hobbies, anything that you feel like might earn you a better understanding of how you can help your mentee. With that in mind, I also advise you to not ask any prying questions about your mentee's gender or sexuality. In order to foster a safe environment for your mentee, let them share those things themselves. My next tip is to be an active listener, which seems like a given, but is actually really, really important when you're networking with mentees on Career Connect. And when I say be an active listener, I mean be an active listener about any of the experiences that they want to share. And this can be a wide variety. If they're talking about an experience that they had in a workplace that was really discriminatory or any fear that they have about their career search, hear them out. Sometimes mentees don't need immediate advice, but just need somebody to listen. My next point is to remember that this website is specifically for young LGBTQ plus people. This means that your mentee oftentimes is looking for more than just a networking opportunity. They're looking for a chance to learn about how their own identities are going to affect their professional lives. And furthermore, they're looking for advice on how to face these obstacles and find safe spaces in their career search. Be sensitive to the obstacles that young LGBTQ plus people might have faced in their job search so far. You can research discrimination policies or workplace cultures to make sure that your mentee is ending up in a safe space. Okay, on to my next point. We're almost there. This one is short, but important. Lead by example, but encourage your mentee to make their own decisions. As a mentor, it's your duty to help your mentee find their own career path. And while your mentee might find lots of inspiration in you, they should be curating a path designed for themselves. And last but not least, if you haven't heard from your mentee in a while, don't be afraid to check in. Life can get really stressful and really overwhelming. So your mentee might not have the time to hop on Career Connect and send you a message. Nevertheless, they might need your support. Check in with them to see how they're feeling generally, instead of asking them about career updates. This is really all in part to fostering a safe space for your mentee, and it's really, really an effective way to build a deeper connection with your mentee. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something new from this video, and I hope it encourages you to hop on Career Connect and go connect with a new mentee. And if this sounds like a lot, I encourage you to go watch my video on how to be a connector on Career Connect, which is basically similar to being a mentor, but it requires a lot less time. I'll see you there. <laughs>